Africa's vultures are in trouble. There are 10 species of vulture that occur in Africa. Four of these are critically endangered and three are endangered. All are threatened by poisoning, which is the biggest threat to vultures worldwide. In East Africa, the poisons used are typically highly toxic pesticides. These include furidan, marshal, and aldicarb, and even strychnine is still used. Most of the vulture poisoning in East Africa is unintentional. The intended targets are carnivores, such as lions, hyenas, and leopards, that find themselves in conflict with farmers when they kill livestock. But vultures are extremely vulnerable to poisoning because they forage over vast areas and they follow each other to carcasses where they feed in large groups. Even a single poisoned carcass can kill hundreds of vultures. Until the recent development of lightweight tracking devices, we had little idea how far vultures were moving. Thanks to the rapid improvement of this technology, we are learning a great deal about the home ranges and movements of these endangered birds. In 2013, Peregrine Fund researchers in Kenya started trapping and tagging vultures with lightweight 60 gram tracking units. The units are attached like a backpack with two straps above the wings and two straps below the wings, which meet at the chest. Held with Teflon ribbon, the strapping is strategically designed so that the units will fall off in three to four years. The units can transmit data on a bird's location, altitude, and flying speed as often as every 15 seconds. Data is stored on a SIM card and is transmitted via cell phone networks once per day when the bird is within network coverage. We have learned a tremendous amount from the movements of these long-lived and well-traveled birds. For example, young Rupel's vultures regularly move throughout huge areas, foraging on dead wildlife and livestock along their journey. One individual that we tagged in central Kenya flew to Chad in Central Africa, a round-trip journey that occurred over six months and covered in excess of 7,400 kilometers. Currently, we are tracking 17 vultures throughout northern Kenya that also move into South Sudan and southern Ethiopia. Apart from showing us the essential habitats these birds require, the tracking data has also proved vital for informing the placement of wind farms. Vultures, other large birds, and bats are at particularly high risk of collision with spinning turbine blades. Data from the tracking units informs us of where and when the birds are flying at heights where collision with turbines is likely. We can then inform developers to avoid placement of turbines in these high risk areas, which is mutually beneficial to both developers and endangered vultures. <laughs>